21.5. That is the current net rating of the Milwaukee Bucks following the 2024 NBA All-Star break. And the clip you just saw, that was following a ridiculous fourth quarter comeback by this team against the Los Angeles Clippers, not to mention with this guy in street clothes. And I know that some of you might consider what we've seen from this team over these past few weeks as nothing crazy. Bucks fans, you're probably going to say we're witnessing the peak of this team this season and arguably their most impressive win of the year. But the point is, you guys, no matter what side of that table you might be sitting at, this Bucks team, they're a lot different than they were just a few weeks back and if they somehow keep up the pace they're currently at this league is in for quite the surprise but before we get into that, today's video is brought to you by our friends at NordVPN. NordVPN is your number one route to a safer and more secure experience no matter what you're doing across the World Wide Web. And guys, I mean, you definitely don't need me to tell you this, but between all of the threats out there like viruses, malware, hackers, phishing, data breaches, I could keep going here if I wanted to. With NordVPN by your side, it's as simple as a single click to ensure your online privacy is protected protected by the best in the business. And whether it's their threat protection shielding you from online worries, having dedicated apps to work on all major platforms, or even the fact that one account can protect up to six of your devices at the same time, it's pretty clear why I use NordVPN wherever I go. And if you guys go to nordvpn.com slash hoops digest, which will be linked in the description down below, you can get four months of their security completely free with a two-year plan and a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee when and you sign up. Again, that is nordvpn.com slash hoops digest to get your hands on the best with NordVPN. Here's Lillard. He gets caught up at midcourt. The Lopez, two seconds, one. Lillard at the horn. No good. The Bucks don't get a clean attempt. So I will very briefly touch on this stint of the Doc Rivers era in Milwaukee because the initiation for this man, it was pretty hard to watch. You saw this team come out of the gates with a rather disappointing record. Their offense had seemingly lost its rhythm. Their defense, for the most part, didn't really see any major jumps statistically as fans had hoped. And for the most part, the talk of the NBA world, it was centered on the quote-unquote drastic mistake that Milwaukee had made midseason. But uh, to Bucks fans at least, that probably feels like a decade ago. Because at this point, they're arguably the hottest team in all of basketball right now. I mean, their offense is absolutely rolling, and most importantly, seeing a much heavier integration of Giannis and Dane playing off of each other as of recently. And even without the Greek freak, the fluidity, it's clearly still there. Then there's the defense, which I'm going to be honest, I don't think words can describe the absurd turnaround that it's seen in this tenure. And to top it all off, they haven't lost a game yet at the time I'm recording this video. Bucks fans, I apologize for that jinx in advance. But you guys, aside from some of the simpler things that I think all of us can notice when watching this team, like for example, their new acquisitions and guys like Pat Bev and Gallinari, their noticeably increased effort on either side of the floor, or even just the born again passion this team seems to now be playing with. I mean, we still have to ask, what exactly did this guy change? Now again, obviously, many are initially going to point to those defensive improvements that we're seeing at all three levels of the court with this team, because I mean, a jump like this, that's anything but a coincidence. But at the same time, what if I told you that a fair share of these defensive adjustments that we are seeing actually stem from the changes this team has made on the offensive side of the ball? Now, ever since the All-Star break, the Bucks' offensive efficiency has noticeably gotten back up to speed, as some of the numbers would tell you. But honestly, what's been more of a noticeable change than anything else with this team is very surprisingly the pace at which Milwaukee's now playing at. Let me just give you guys some context real quick. This team's pace of play prior to the arrival of Doc this season was 101.4, one of the fastest in the entire league. The slowest-paced team this season, the New York Knicks at 96 on the dot. That 
that should make it pretty clear that when I tell you the Bucks are currently playing at a pace slower than anything we've seen in damn near a decade, on one side, it's absolute insanity. But right on top of that, it is exactly what this team needed. For one example, there's the play of Damian Lillard, who, while most of us know it's been a struggle for him to find his shot for the majority of this season, we've seen that tide turn quite a bit down this stretch, especially in regards to the deep ball. And again, that slow pace that's being incorporated, it doesn't work to anyone's favor more than this guy. Because whether it's different concepts, like say spamming pick and roll or pick and pop plays to try and hunt mismatches and create that space to get him more consistent looks, maybe more frequently clearing the lane and operating in a five out sense to try to allow him to attack the basket more, etc. To put it simply, this new offense that Milwaukee has integrated, it has essentially given Dame more of an opportunity to be Dame. And well, when he's the guy that we all know he can be, this team they don't lose very often. But then, of course, there's the rest of what you're seeing unfold with this team. For one instance, you have Giannis absolutely thriving in this new situation, putting up career best numbers from the field overall, and even putting up numbers from the perimeter that some of you probably think is bullshit. Then there's some of the key rotational pieces in guys like Malik Beasley, who've really taken this team's floor spacing to a completely new level with the numbers they're putting up this year. Or even Bobby Portis right alongside him, who's also pushing for the most productive season of his career. And honestly, I could keep going about the improvements that we're seeing on this side of the ball, but really, they pale in comparison to this revamped defense. Now, most of you guys out there probably don't need me to tell you this, but uh, this Milwaukee Bucks team, they're old. In fact, one of the oldest in all of basketball. So again, when you take a simple approach as to observing how this team plays, you very quickly realize that having a coach who prioritizes a slow, methodical offense, and in turn looks to utilize that conserved energy drastically more on the defensive end, the impact it's had on this team, it's almost unprecedented. Precedented. Like there's their jump in overall efficiency, their transition defense, their number of forced turnovers. I could keep going here if I wanted to, guys, but I think that most of you get the point I'm trying to make here. And simply put, it feels the best way to describe Doc Rivers as a coach in today's game is that he's not necessarily a ceiling reacher for a team like the Milwaukee Bucks, but more so he is a floor raiser. And in terms of raising the floor for this team already, yeah, it's pretty clear that he's already done that. But will it end up being enough to push this team to get to their ultimate goal? That is where I want to hear what you guys have to think of this. So please let me know in the comments what has surprised you the most out of everything that you've seen on either side of the ball from this team. And if you had to, predict this team's final record and how far you see them making it in the 2024 playoffs. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all more than anything, and I will see you guys in the next video.